Welcome to Your Cyber Path, the podcast that helps you get your dream cybersecurity job by sharing the secrets of experienced hiring managers and top cybersecurity professionals with you. Now, on to the show. Just for the benefit of the audience, when you say mid-market, can you define that for them? Because sure. I, I know a lot of people may be like, what do you mean by that? <laughs> right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so mid-market is defined in a number of different ways, depending on who you talk to. So if you talk to the Small Business Association, they have one definition. Talk to the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, they have a different definition. I'm going to give you my definition. So uh, generally speaking, mid-market is, uh, is companies under a billion dollars of annual revenue, but who have about 50 to $100 million. So there's a range there, okay? Um, and that's the range that I'm talking about. If you have more than a billion dollars of annual revenue, you generally can afford to hire dedicated cybersecurity people. If you're under $50 million to $100 million of annual revenue, um, you're still worried about product market fit, right? You're, you're still trying to like get legs under your business. And so cybersecurity uh, it just often doesn't rise to the C-suite as an issue unless it's something that's keeping them from closing deals, in which case it's all they think about. But that's mid-market. And so when you're dealing with a company, generally we're talking something like 50 to 150 employees, I would guess. Something like numbers. that. Yeah. yeah. So having a, a dedicated, you, you may be lucky to have one or two IT people, but That's there's right. probably not going to be any cybersecurity people. Right. And IT people, you might have a few on your team, but most of your IT heavy lifting is probably being done by a managed service provider. You've yeah. probably outsourced that or you're just doing everything on a shoestring and you're having operators do most of the IT work also. Like I, I can think of a customer of ours that brings fruit in from the fields, cleans it, wash, you know, washes it, sorts it, puts it into boxes and sends it wherever it needs to go. And they have the thinnest IT crew you can imagine. And most of the people on the packing line are actually uh, kind of keeping the systems running. And the dedicated specialists are just running around with their heads cut off, uh, fixing stuff that breaks. That's all yep. they do is whack-a-mole all day long. So they don't really have the, uh, the time and, uh, and the talent to really focus on something like a security information and event mo management system. Yeah, that, that makes sense. In my time in the government and working at different places, you know, some of the places I worked, uh, even though we don't do revenue, like because you said, you know, billion dollars in revenue, um, you know, the government as a whole, yeah, we're definitely more than a billion dollars revenue. We're a very large oh. organization, right? But we break it up into very small organizations. And one of the organizations I was working in, we had about 200 people on staff. We had five IT people, and most of our IT was done through a managed service provider. And our job was really just acting as the conduit of we did touch labor if there was issues, and if it wasn't, we had to call into the MSP who remoted into the systems and did all the hard work there, right? And that was yep. 10, 15 years ago before MSPs were really as huge as they are now. But nowadays, everybody uses MSPs for that kind of stuff. That's right. 